very good Sunday morning, January the 1st, 2023, Caleb Ministries. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3 and 5, this is such, such important. I read, what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins, that he was raised on the third day, and that he appeared, and etc., and etc., scale up ministries and our heading a resurrected life jesus has forced open a door that had been locked since the death of the first man everything is different because he has done so firstly the jews were split on the issues some believed that god would one day resurrect human beings others did not the greeks believed in the immortality of the soul but certainly not in a physical resurrection for everyone. However, the issue was a mysterious one day we'll understand issue. No one, absolutely no one, expected to see a resurrected body, human being, in his or her lifetime. Secondly, not until Jesus came anyway. He raised a few people from the dead himself, Jairus' daughter and Lazarus, to name two, but those were temporary resurrections. And then Jesus appeared after being in a tomb for three days. Thirdly, this was the earth-shattering foundation of the church. Jesus' teachings were profound, his miracles spectacular, but they didn't define the church. The new movement that began in a small Roman outpost was based on a revolutionary, shocking truth. The specter of death had lost its power. A man certified death was now alive, and he promised life to everyone who believed in him. Application. Well, it's impossible for us to understand two millennia later how utterly radical the idea of a res resurrection was. It was not an illusion of pre-scientific people. Jesus appeared to a lot of people for many days and displayed his eternal body. Many who saw him were later martyred for admitting it. Well, if you think about it, this fact changes everything. It changes how we live, how we think, how we plan, how we work, everything. Let it change you. No, let it rather define you. Resolve this year, 2023, to live a resurrected life. I pray. Thank you, Father, for the hope of our glorious resurrection. In Jesus' name, amen.